Our old waffle iron finally quit working last week. I found an article on the internet on how to take it apart. When I lifted the cover from the bottom section iron, one of the wires attached to the coil snapped right off. After I prepared the end of the wire and shoved it back into the terminal bushing, I needed some way to clamp the wire in place so that it would make good contact and uh, not pull out easily. I thought maybe a small screw might work, so I tried several different screws and finally found one that seemed to work. I still didn't have continuity end to end, so I opened up the top section and sure enough there was a clean break there. I repaired this connection the same way as before, except I had to add an extension wire to relieve the wire tension after the unit reassembled. Uh, this time the best screw turned out to be a wood screw, uh, maybe a number four. The end-to-end -end resistance measured 21 ohms after these two repairs. And the next morning, which is this morning, we enjoyed having waffles again for breakfast. Uh, this reconnection method might not be the best that could have been done, but it was uh, least intrusive, and we'll see how well it holds up. Thanks for watching.